Hello, you're listening to Count Richard von Kuden of Clergy. Today is Saturday the 26th of October and I'm down here to support the people's protest movement in Barrow Street. You can see the graffiti there on the wall, open borders, Spanish fascism, and what have you. I always look forward to coming down here. It's like a wind tunnel, it's some sort of Google organised mistral designed to freeze the, your personal equipment off you. Unfortunately, I've been a little bit waylaid in my presentations the last couple of weeks for personal reasons. I haven't been able to dedicate the time necessary. Uh, my partner hasn't been well, and uh, I have to say, other than the intervention of one or two people, I've been very grateful. Have appeared like angels to help, and I'm very grateful for the support of friends and family during this time. So, and uh, I actually met one of my subscribers the other day at the Southside pub and was very nice and he inquired as to why I wasn't making any videos so it's nice to know that your humble efforts are sometimes appreciated and I appreciate your comments afterwards so let's see what we have here and see what we can find oh it's a cold day 10 degrees and, only, and the clock goes back tonight and all unfortunately how you doing fellas? Nice to see you. I love the beard. One simple change, one simple little um, effort to get to let people know about what's what's happening. Even if you were to like share one of Gemma O'Doherty's live stream videos, even to just to do that, and you know people would say you might be afraid of what your friends will say, but do you want to have it on your conscience when we lose our country and you look back and you say, I knew about that, I could have done something to help. And what did I do? I looked the other way. So what kind of a friend are you going to be, you know, when you have to answer that question yourself? So I suppose we're talking about asking questions today. And I would advise everybody to write to Charlie Flanagan and to express your outrage on, you know, what he's talking about. Shutting people down, silencing the Irish citizens of this country who elected him who put him in that position of power that he is now abusing and using against the Irish people. So I would ask you all to write a letter um, to him and his address is info at justice.ie. So if you want to follow the same template as mine, uh, here's what I wrote. Dear Charlie, you were asked a question by Niall the Irish Patriot, at the Ploughing Championship last September on why you are allowing mass immigration into this country. It was a simple, basic and fair question. When that question was asked, I also wanted to know the answer to that question. And so did thousands and thousands of other Irish Patriots. So Charlie, since that interview, I have a few more questions for you. I want to know why you want the Irish people to become an ethnic minority in their own country. I want to know why the Irish taxpayer has to hand over their hard-earned money to people coming into this country who you are passing off as refugees, but who are coming from countries where there are no wars and where they are not in danger. I want to know why you told the Irish people to step back so you could prioritize housing for fake refugees, but you turn a blind eye to our genuinely homeless Irish men, women, and children who have to sleep on the cold, hard streets of this country. I want to know why fake refugees are given hotel rooms and houses while homeless Irish children have to eat their dinner 
off the streets of Dublin. I want to know when it was that you became so arrogant, Charlie. I want to know when you forgot that it is the people of this country who pay your wages and that it is your job to serve and answer to the people of this country. I want to know when you and the rest of your traitorous government sold your souls, Charlie, when you decided to work for global masters instead of the Irish people. I want to know exactly when you decided that it was a good idea to endanger our citizens and future generations when you decided to decimate our culture and our heritage. I want to know when you decided that you were above answering questions asked by Irish citizens and those who elected you. I want to know why you call it hate speech because we ask you genuine questions that we have real concerns about. Is it because you hate the Irish people, Charlie? Is it that? Or is it because you hate the fact that these questions are exposing you as a traitor that you are to the Irish people, our country and our flag? I want to know why you think you have the right to silence and control Irish conversation, Charlie. And I want to know why you think you have the right to take our right to free speech. Our great Irish heroes die for our constitutional right to freedom and our right to speak freely and to freely offer difference of opinion. Free speech is our right, Charlie. And neither you or Leo or none of the clowns running the surface of a government will take that right away from us. So the best thing you can do now, and the only thing that you appear to be good at, Charlie, is to run Charlie. Yeah.